Good morning, everyone. This is Rob at I'm always in hot water.com and boats in hot water.com. It is, oh, I don't even know what the date is. I think it's uh, April the 13th. And in fact, uh, the Heritage is coming into town or is in town here out in Hilton Head. But let's just get to the point and try and keep this video short. I got something really nice out here uh, for you all. And um, it's my first experience, actually. We have a 14 foot, three inch Boggy Creek Boat Company. It's a special make, hand laid fiberglass, the whole ball of works. A 2016 14 foot center console skiff boat whatever you want to call it and she is in immaculate condition i will call her excellent not like new but in between both uh hails with somewhere between 60 and 75 hours uh last service was done at 54 hours and she has been garage kept and taken care of like she should and i'm just going to kind of walk through the boat Everything that I see is in very nice condition. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Boggy Creek. I actually had to look them up online. Trail is in decent shape. Boggy Creek Boat Company, a 2016-14-3. And in going through the hull and everything else, uh, I cannot find anything cosmetically that caused me any concern or issue. The trailer is a swing tongue, by the way with a spare and we have a uh, Minn Kota which would be the uh, SP 55 12 volt and that is 2016 as well it looks appears to be in excellent condition uh, pretty sure it's an eight gallon tank but we'll double check that and I'm gonna kind of bounce around on you guys there's your Coast Guard uh, maximum capacity and I'm just going to walk through the exterior boat. This one's kind of a no-brainer. Um, garage kept, barely run. She hails with an Evinrude e E-Tech 50 horsepower uh, Viper prop. Although I can't find the pitch on it anywhere. Uh, but, you know, she appears that the anodes are in nice shape. Services are kept up. I mean, you don't, this isn't rocket science. You guys can see the quality here. And if you're familiar with Boggy Peak Creek Boat Company, then this is going to be something special for you, uh, as you guys can see. Uh, you have a live well, um, fish box. This will pop out if you need it. I'd almost put a polling platform on this thing. Let's just pop in. I'm going to pop in the boat. Cable steering, like new. I see there's a live well and let me just get through the exterior of the boat this like I said this one's not hard to figure out she is a beauty this is your tire kick and walk through um, simply you know make an offer put a deposit on the boat if the seller accepts we take her to the water you leave same day she's Florida registered and titled so we just do a standard bill of sale I'm gonna pop this off real quick before I pop on the motor just so you guys can see. I took, I have pictures up on the site. I'm just, it's tough to do. You gotta start on the front. Let me see if I can do it. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna put this down for a second so nobody, everybody hang tight. Reason why I wanna pull this cowling off, you can eat off of this engine. Service, I think, I uh, done it. It was pulled at 54 hours. Uh, seller says maybe he's put 25 hours on it since then. Your last service was done uh, mid-season, I think, last season. So you guys can see there. Trying to cover all the bases for you guys. And now I'm going to just kind of... Uh, it doesn't even really use the Bimini only a couple of times. Uh, Bimini still got the tag on it. It's like new. You know, you're going to have a couple of little fittings you know where you're gonna get a little bit of pitting but overall I don't think anybody's gonna have a complaint I'm pretty sure the Yeti goes with that I will confirm I don't see why it wouldn't and let me just pop up in here moving forward uh, the uh, co-pilot um, the Minn Kota also has a remote 
and uh, your anchors forward. I don't think you guys need to see that. Here's your fuel tank, and she is eight gallons. Uh, forward battery is going to obviously be for uh, your trolling motor. At least I would hope so. And as you guys can see, the upholstery and everything is, you know, garage kept. Basically, a 2016 boat with 75 hours and run and used and serviced. You guys can just kind of take a quick look here. And we've already seen that. And storage. And let's just take a quick look down here. Man, she's a beauty. Obviously, that's going to be your cranking battery. Run lights, anchor light, bilge pump, bait pump, electronics, and accessory. Throttle. You got an Echo Map DV uh, with depth um, and rate. Uh, shoot. He told me. I, it's uh, no fish finder, but uh, it gives you both depth and charts. Obviously, analog gauges. And I think that pretty much covers the bases. I don't think anybody... Let me just pop that in there. One, I'll close it back up. Is going to be disappointed if this is what you're looking for. We'll have her price reasonably. The seller has moved on to a bigger boat. And that'll about do it. The trailer's 2016. Uh, everything's 2016, obviously, across the board. And that'll about do it. Sorry about the sun glare. You guys might be able to miss a couple of spots. Rob out here at I'm Always in Hot Water .com. 2016 Boggy Creek, 14 foot 3 inch. Skiff Center Console, Minn Kota, about 75 hours or less, Bimini Top, trailer in nice shape, um, no complaints here, this boat is turnkey, ready for the water, let's get this done. Rob and I'm always in hotwater.com signing off, wishing you a great and safe boating day. Rob signing off.